My name is Trevor Malloy. I work for a company called 3S Chemicals. Uh, we are a chemical dipping company that uh, remove paint and rust from classic cars for people to restore. The customer starts off by completely disassembling the vehicle. Then uh, we will take it and we will dip it in our alkaline paint stripper. And they'll remain in the tank for about a day. We take it out every other day and then we'll pressure wash it until all the paint is removed. Because there can be different layers of paint. You got your paint, then you got your primer, you got your putty, undercoating. Once all that's removed, then it'll move to the acid bath. And the acid bath actually takes a little less time. Our acid bath is for removing rust specifically. That's all it does. And we'll pull it out every other day also. And it will be neutralized after it's pulled out into our alkaline bath. That way there's no further rusting from the acid because the acid does attack the metal slightly. Then it'll be pressure washed until all of the rust is removed. Once all the rust is removed, our third step and our third chemical is our water-based rust inhibitor. And we dip it in a water-based rust inhibitor to stop further rusting until you're ready to paint. I think chemical dipping is the most thorough way to remove all paint and rust from a car body. It gets to places that physical medias can't, like sandblasting or media blasting. And one other plus is it doesn't damage or warp the metal at all. Our chemical dipping gets in everything. Since it's submerged, everything is taken out. So you're left with completely bare metal. You don't have to worry about later down the road that it's gonna start rusting from the inside out. Since our chemicals are environmentally friendly, uh, it takes four to five weeks uh, minimum, depending on certain variables. Uh, depending on the age of the paint, uh, older paints tend to be taken off easier since paint technology has improved over the years. Um, Bondo, the amount of Bondo it has, or putty, the amount of undercoating, and the amount of rust it has. So there's variables. Sometimes it can take two weeks, but usually we say four to five. The only problem that we come in contact with is our alkaline paint stripper actually eats soft metals. So if there's aluminum, magnesium, or a pot metal on the car, uh, it'll react and it'll dissolve it. So we'll dip the car and we'll look for any reaction. If there's a reaction, we'll pull it out. We'll go over the car with magnets to find specific parts. You'll usually be able to see the part that's reacting. And it's a slow reaction. So it's not like you put it in there and it's ruined. It would take a few days, but we find that we remove it and solve the problem that way. People think it's super expensive, but it's not. It's only $2,400 for a car body. It's cheap and uh, it's the best way to do it in my opinion.